Hi there, welcome back to the workshop. So this video has been a little delayed because we we're actually working on a different video, a vacuum chamber, but we ran into some issues. I needed a good seal. No, not that kind of seal or that kind of seal. We needed a good seal. This is what I was trying to use and it's a silicone membrane that I cut to fit the jar and it works, but because it's such a, a hard rubber, it doesn't, it's not easy to use. So I went back to one of the things that inspired me to make YouTube videos. And that's uh, a great Canadian, Grant Thompson from The King of Random. Uh, unfortunately, we lost Grant Thompson some time ago, but his influence is still felt throughout the internet. Uh, so what we're gonna do today, um, and this is in honor of him, uh, I wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't for him. We are going to make some proto putty. So I'm going to bring you down closer and let's get to it. Okay, so to make proto putty, you're going to need a couple things. Uh, and in my opinion, the most important thing you're going to need, rubber gloves. Uh, this stuff is sticky and if you get it all over your hands, it is a pain in the butt to clean up. Um, so get some, some rubber gloves, wear them, easy cleanup. What we're also going to need is cornstarch, 100% pure silicone. Uh, you want to make sure that's 100% pure or it's not going to work properly. And some food dye. And you're going to want something that makes it up. So we're going to start by putting some silicone into our bowl. A generous amount. We're going to take our food color. Now, I do believe this needs to be a water-based food color because it's the water that actually activates the silicone. And when this is activated, it's going to smell very strongly of vinegar. So try being in a well-ventilated room. And we're just going to stir that up until it's all nicely mixed. Then once we've got that all mixed, we're going to drop it into our cornstarch. We're just going to roll it around and get it all covered in the cornstarch. We're just going to keep kneading that in. At this point, if you watch Grant's video, you'll see he does this part with his hands. Every time I've tried this with my hands, it's way too sticky. So I just keep kneading it with the mixing stick until it's got a bunch of that cornstarch mixed in. And then Keep mixing that up. Add more cornstarch in if we need, if it seems to be a little sticky. And we're just folding it over and mixing it all up. And as you can see, it is still sticky in there. That's why you want to wear the gloves. Once it gets to like a Play-Doh consistency, you should be good to not have to add any more. And then you just keep mixing and that color will come back. Oh, no, we're still a little too sticky. Okay, so now I'm just going to quickly clean up the mess here. I'm going to roll this out. There's the container. Oh, lost half of it. 
There's a container I'm going to be making a seal for. Because I actually had two shapes of container that I needed seals for. One was round, which I made some proto-putty for earlier. And the other is this square one. So I'm just going to roll it out, try to be as even as possible. And we're going to raise the camera just a tad so that we can see what I'm doing to the container. And we're just going to put that up there. We're just going to push it down on the edge there. And we're just going to mold that around the edge there. And where it's thicker, we can work that around. We'll make sure we don't have any creases, so we can just pinch off where there's any creases. Just like Play-Doh, it'll seal up. And we'll take the lid that we're going to be using, and I'm just going to give it a light pressure to get a nice flat surface. And then I can just use my fingers to go around the edge here. To make sure that it's going to be a nice airtight seal. And if we need to work some around, we can do that too. Too much out of there. Okay. There we should have a nice airtight seal. And that is how you make a seal out of proto putty. So until next time, look forward to the video on the vacuum chamber. Um, we're not going expensive. We are actually using affordable equipment to make a vacuum chamber that people can do experiments with. Uh, it's not going to be the most powerful thing, but it'll get the job done. So if you enjoyed the content, please like and subscribe and feel free to leave a comment. Have a great day.